final leg, back again to talk about the women's 100 meter dash. And right now where we're at in May, Elaine thompson Hera, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, and Sharika Jackson are poised again to sweep the women's 100 meter dash podium, gold, silver, and bronze, just based on what we've seen this year. Now, let's kind of take a look at the season, right? I've been trying to look at the landscape of the 100 meter dash so far, right? A lot of people are opening up pretty early because of the world championships that are happening early in, you know, mid-July or whatever it may be. But I'm not seeing a lot of other women who are really in position to make it to that next step and really take a spot for a podium, right? So just looking at these Jamaican women, Elaine thompson Hera last year got the gold medal. Shelly Ann Fraser-Price got that silver medal. Sharika Jackson got that bronze medal. They swept the medals. That was the second time in history that the women had ever swept the 100-meter medals. The last time it would ever happen, either Worlds or Olympics, was 2008. Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, um, Karan Stewart, and... Um, and uh, Sharon Simpson, they had swept the medals there in Beijing. Now, in 2021, Elaine thompson Hera, of course, her season best, 10.54 seconds. Shelly and Fraser Price, 10.60 seconds. And then Sharika Jackson, 10.76 seconds. This year already, 2022, in May, we've already seen Shelly and Fraser Price run 10.76. We've seen Elaine thompson Hera run 10.89. And we've seen Sharika Jackson run 11 flat. Jackson's 11 flat, though, was run into a negative 1.8 meter per second wind, which converts to about 10.86. But even regardless of the wind conversions, these three ladies are really showing up. Now, there are extremely fast and very consistent women from all around the world who are going to hopefully be in contention. But just looking at the rest of the world right now, let's look at the United States first. There are so many women who are in play, but they're really just a mixed bag. We have Tiana Daniels. We have uh, Jenna Prandini. We have Gabby Thomas, Brittany Brown, um, Cambria Sturgis, uh, Melissa Jefferson, Twanisha Terry, Aaliyah Hobbs, uh, Abby Steiner, Tamara Clark, JVN Oliver, uh, Shania Collins, right? So many names of women from the United States who are really in play. They've run, you know, either 11 flat or sub 11. And, you know, they're kind of making noise. They've been winning races, but... No one is really on that cusp of like, okay, I'm going to break 10-8 and I'm going to challenge these Jamaican women, right? No one is in that range. And this is on their best days. Think about it. Tiana Daniels has the fastest personal best of any of the U.S. women running right now, and she's run 10.83 seconds. On a bad day, let's look at the Jamaican women. On a bad day, Shelly and Fraser Price on a bad day, she runs 10.74 seconds. Last year at the Olympic Games, in the Olympic final, she got a bad start and she didn't run a perfect race and she ran 10.74 seconds into a headwind. That's a bad day for her. 10.74 seconds. No American woman is running that right now. So Shelly and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson, they are uh, far and away ahead from the field, even on a bad day. Even Sharika Jackson, though, like I said, her personal best is 10.76 seconds. She's run 10.76 twice. She's run 10.77, she's run 10.79, and she's run 10.82, and a plethora of other 10.8 times. All those times, just the ones I mentioned, are all faster than Tiana Daniels' personal best of 10.83. And again, Tiana Daniels is the fastest American that we have running right now. So we really got to put these things into context on the women from the United States, at least, would have to expect the Jamaican women to not only have a bad day, but they would also have to have their best day ever, the American women. So a lot of things have to come into play, again, thinking of right now in the season for these women in the, from Jamaica to break up the potential sweep of the podium again. Now, looking at the rest of the world um, right now, right, I think, um, and even going back to the United States, right, Tiana Daniels, I think she would be the best contender to not only make it to the, to the final, but potentially get a medal Metal is very tough, but, you know, Tiana Daniels, I'm probably going to make another video on her talking about why she is and has been the top American for the past three years and the most consistent American and probably needs more recognition. But that's for another day. Looking outside the United States right now, who else do we have? Dina Asher Smith got the silver medal in Doha 2019. She's been a little up and down just because of injury. She's getting back into form. Just ran, she ran a 400, a 300, and then she just ran a 200 meters um, just recently. So take a look. We're going to see what she's able to do. We also, of course, have uh, Christine Mboma. She unfortunately got injured. If she does get back into things, though, she's going to be a, a huge challenge. We saw her kind of rising up in the 100 meters. Of course, with her 200 meter accolades, she is set there. 
uh, Mujinga Kumbunji, right? 60 meter um, world indoor champion. So she hasn't opened up her season yet, but I think she's going to be one who's definitely going to be in play. She, of course, got the bronze medal in the 200 meters in 2019. She's always in the mix, got sixth place in the 100 meters last year in Tokyo. Always in the mix there, as well as um, Del Ponte, also from Switzerland, right? These two women from Switzerland are definitely two to look out for. Um, Maria Jose Talou, right? She's kind of on the second half of her career, but she is she's always in, in the mix. She's always running fast. She's always, last year, she just ran 10.7. So she's definitely going to be in the mix. One who's going to be coming into play. And then you also have to look at uh, two of the NCAA women, right? Julian Alfred and Favre Ophelia. Alfred, she competes for St. Lucia. Ophelia competes for Nigeria. Now, they definitely have long seasons, but they might be in the mix. Unfortunately, though, none of these women, maybe Asher Smith, maybe Mboma or Kambunji, um, if Mboma gets healthy again, I'm not sure any of these women are consistent enough and really showing their cards early this season to be able to break up that Jamaican sweep. Again, we're looking at right now in the season, May 2022. I'm not sure anyone is breaking up that sweep right now. And some people will say that sweeps are very, very rare. Very, very rare. That's very, very true, right? We saw in 2008, we saw in 2021. Those are the only two times in history that the women's 100 meter has ever come down to a sweep. And both of them were J Jamaican women at the Olympic Games. The other times for the men, we saw in 1991. Then we have to go all the way back to 1912 and 1904. So five times in history of the Olympics or the World Championships that either the men or women have ever had a sweep. But guess what? We're still in 2022. We just saw a sweep last year. The same three women are hitting on all cylinders and the potential for a sweep is very, very strong. The odds just really are in their favor at this very moment. Again, I just wanna highlight, we are speaking about the season right now in the middle of May. Things may change a week from now, things may change Three weeks from now, things may change a month from now. Things may change right before the World Championships in July, right? But right now, the women from Jamaica look poised to hit up another sweep. So we got to definitely look out for them. I also didn't mention the 200, right? Gabby Thomas is one to look out for in the 200. She is on a whole nother level there, but the 100 is very different. I also didn't mention Shakari Richardson. Richardson is not in play here only because she hasn't opened up her season also, after the Olympics, right, Prefontaine, she also ran in Italy. She ran in the Diamond League final in the 200 meters, right? Her season wasn't as great after uh, the second half of 2021, and she hasn't opened up. So I really don't know where she's at right now. I can't really comment or, you know, factor her into my predictions at the moment. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about. The women's 100 meters is poised to see another Jamaican sweep if we don't see a couple other people step it up in the next couple weeks leading up to the World Championships. Let me know what you think though. Go in the comments below. Let me know if you think the Jamaican woman can also sweep. If you think that another woman could come into play and might be able to break up that metal sweep. And if so, who would that woman be? Someone I listed, someone I noted, or maybe there was someone I you know, completely forgot. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.